All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the Tiberian Sun Adventures channel with your host, Steelcock. And if you remember yesterday, I put up this video, which is the one we're looking at here. Insane 2 versus 2 build order to land two disruptors earlier. And this is really just an experimental video to see uh, if we could push the limits of landing a disruptor in an opponent's base, or two disruptors in this case, um, earlier than what was um, possible via a conventional attack. And that was done by skipping building the uh, pad and the service uh, depot and even the component so we could shave off $1,900 worth of um, build. And um, I actually did manage to test out that build order with um, TRZ. He was actually really uh, cooperative and offered to help me um, do this. And there was some feedback from people that were very skeptical uh, in the comments uh, about this. And it was great to actually see, um, you know, to actually try it in a real game against two, two opponents to see what happened. And I also did a follow-up post that talked about... Um, this and reference that original video and talked about I actually did a uh, baseline comparison between a four ref into two disruptors I should say two instead of three and that was three minutes 30 from launching the attack not landing because it takes another 15 seconds to, to traverse the map horizontally not diagonally um, and I called it the uh, big cock special build order or the uh, the cock rush <laughs> Uh, and that was 3 minutes and 14 seconds, which gives you quite a substantial advantage of 16 seconds. And then I actually calculated the time in terms of producing 5 Titans, which was 43.5 seconds or 8.7 seconds per Titan. Um, so this build order, in fact, gives you an advantage of 2 Titans. And I did, in fact, see this in the game that I had against um, these two opponents with TRZ. So it was great to have TRZ actually uh, offer to assist me with this build order. Um, I also did some timings around this build order to find out that if you both 4-ref at the same time, then the second carry will land at exactly the moment um, your opponent, sorry, your ally, has their disruptor coming out of the uh, war factory. The second dis disruptor, not the first one. Now, this is the game in question. Um, this was not recorded by me. This was recorded by the top right position. I'm in bottom left. And the person that's going to be attacked is in bottom right, and they're going to be attacked by top left's disruptors, which is where TRZ is. Um, so this is, to me, a great illustration, and I've had um, quite a few discussions about this, um, and I believe the bottom right is flustered. They only have four Titans by the um, first disruptor and five by the second, and I think they were broke and they couldn't produce uh, NGs um, and Titans at the same time. And they, they definitely made a few mistakes. Um, but I think, you know, they were expecting to have a bit more time um, to respond to the attack. So top right is doing a six ref um, with a harvester. That's a blue tip harvester bomb. Uh, we'll just skip ahead. Now, there's some really, really interesting things that we found out from this. So you can see that uh, top left hasn't been able to defend the attack um, from top right. I think he just didn't have enough infantry. Um, so he's lagging behind. So I'm getting doubled in bottom left. Now, here's a really interesting thing. You can see my carry going up to top left. Um, and again, we both four ref. This is not a just a one ref build. It's better as a three or four ref. Um, so that you can anticipate and defend against these infantry. So you can see infantry battle coming down here. Now I've lost the pad. This is critically important because if you're teching in bottom left, you would be behind and only now producing service, um, the service depot and the carries because you had to build that tech center. So I was able to get out two carries before that infantry rush was able to disable and detect that pad. Now the other thing is, that um, pad was not teched. There was not a tech center with that pad. Um, so losing that pad wasn't a big deal. Um, so you can see that disruptor. This is the critical moment. So um, actually, let's just go back because I want to show you uh, what's going on there. There was only four uh, Titans at this point in time. There was not a um, engineer. Um, so this is, this is really interesting. So now though, I think there was a mistake by TRZ. You can see it just at the end. He's moving his, um, disruptor, which means he cannot fire. And that, um, I saw that construction yard was one bar, one bar. Uh, so it's getting its third shot or it should have been having its third shot at that point. He doesn't get the construction yard. Uh, I think he probably could have gotten it. 
Um, and you can see the second one picks it up. Uh, now, again, bottom right, uh, Titans are out of position. He didn't have an engineer in place, but we're talking five Titans versus um, two disruptors. If he had have held that first disruptor in place, and he's able to get the... Um, uh, the ref as well. So you've now got a detect or a non-tech um, bottom right and with a slow eco and um, Really really interesting. So you can see it looks like he has either four reft or five reft But he hasn't had the time to build that extra those <laughs> he had three engineers come out of that construction yard Which is kind of funny But again um, top left doesn't have a service does not he didn't build a, um, a pad or a service, he didn't build those carries. So even if he had that infantry in him, he was able to build Vulcans. And in fact, you can actually see, um, yeah, his eco is quite strong. He was able to build Vulcan cannons because he didn't have to build all that other stuff. And you might actually also notice if I rewind the video, um, I was in fact able to produce Vulcan cannons um, because I didn't have to build a tech center. Um, so I had quite a bit more time in terms of my build options and I had more money because I didn't need to build a uh, tech center. Now, I've had the comment, this is because I'm in bottom left because of the uh, blue tip. Again, this build order is, uh, in fact, cheaper and faster than if you're going to tech rush uh, out of a 4 ref because all I'm building is a pad and a service. I'm not building two disruptors. I'm not building a tech center. Um, so neither one of top left or bottom left, uh, me or my ally, is vulnerable because he doesn't have to produce, as I said, that pad or the service, and I don't need to, all the carries, and I don't need to build a tech center, all those disruptors. So the load between the two of us is, um, you know, the financial load is spread out. So neither one of us is broke, and we have build time between us. Now, again, the disadvantage is that we don't have the, the bomber tech. Um, now, this game, to give you a bit of context, I know there's a lot of things going on, and I've had a lot of time to sort of um, reflect on this and think about it. Um, this isn't just about that 16 seconds advantage, which, you know, got bottom uh, right flustered at, I think, 3 minutes 44 or something. Um, and he wasn't able to get that, an additional two Titans or a Sam and en Engineer out. He probably could have got that Engineer out, but I think with those two Disruptors, five Titans versus, uh, five Titans and one Engineer versus two Disruptors would be pretty difficult because he can fly around. Um, so this is all about speed and about, you know, um, spreading the load between your, uh, you know, between your two allies. So where I think this is really interesting is if you have a player that's quite advanced and a player that's maybe not as experienced, someone like Wanda, you can instruct them to build you the carries and that way they've just taken the load off you while you build the two disruptors. Um, and that means that you can then anticipate and handle a double imp even though you have both four ref and you're not worried about losing a, a pad. Now as I said, I, I did lose that pad in the uh, bottom left hand corner. So. Really interesting game. You can see here again that it's he was out of position, but again, it's um, it's just time, you know. And again, this is the other thing that happened. Uh, now he went diagonally across the map instead of um, traversing it horizontally. So uh, it probably takes about four or five seconds to go from bottom to top with a carry all. Now diagonally, it's going to take longer than fifteen seconds. I'd estimate maybe eighteen or nineteen. Now, it might sound like I'm really nitpicking with seconds here, but um, this early in the game, seconds absolutely matter. Um, and when we're talking 16 seconds, that's two Titans that he uh, was unable to build. And it's quite possible that even as a 5 ref, he was, you know, because with a 5 ref, that gives you good economy in the long term, but in the short term, you're really struggling. Um, and it's quite soon after he got that um, radar down that he was trying to build that Sam trying to build i'm just going to rewind it there so you can see he's trying to build probably an engineer as well or maybe he didn't because we didn't see one pop out um but he was just flustered i imagine and un uh, ready for that attack so really interesting stuff and as i said from top left and bottom left we both had vulcan cans up because we we're able to spread that build and financial load across um both of the allies so uh, the other thing is, if you, if I rewind to, um, I'm just going to see if I can find the point in which uh, this video goes to top left. You can see, uh, we're going to see it in a moment. He's looking for the disruptor. Okay, so that's the first carry coming out. And as I said, 
That second carry is perfectly timed with the second disruptor coming out. That first carry is actually slow, but the second carry, if you do this uh, with three um, disruptors and carries, by the way, that third carry will be fast and the third disruptor will be slow. So it actually catches up on it. The carry, the first carry is slow, the second one is perfectly on time, and the third one um, is ahead of time. So I think as a three disruptor attack, giving control, uh, there it is, that's what I was looking for. So you can see um, I gave control late to um, to my ally, to TRZ, probably two seconds. Um, now I'm not sure that makes a huge amount of difference, but um, in terms of the positioning of that fifth uh, Titan, it probably does. So traversing the map diagonally and also that two seconds that we lost uh, does add up a bit. So let's see that second disruptor come in. Okay, so that fifth Titan has just come out, and if we were going to attack both of those disruptors at the same time, that Titan would have probably just been coming out and then walking towards those two disruptors wherever they would have been. So um, not only have you only got five Titans, but one of them is out of position because it's just coming out of the War Factory. So I know I'm nitpicking on a lot of things. I've tried to be detail-oriented here. Um, and I think this is a really interesting build, particularly if you've got an ally that isn't adv as advanced as you are. You can use them to take the financial load off um, your economy and also uh, improve the build times because you're not building all this extra shit and you don't have a vulnerable pad. Um, and then from here, uh, you know, bottom left where I am, I'm just able to tech up again and build my pads because uh, I haven't lost much. So, uh, and really I could have kept that, uh, that uh, service depot as well. I probably didn't need to sell it. So this was a win for the uh, left side. Um, yeah, so you can... And certainly there were definitely mistakes that uh, bottom right did make. But, uh, you know, that crippling blow in that early part of the game by that, that two fast disruptors was uh, really critical. So to the people that are saying this is uh, not a good uh, build order, um, you can see uh, here that this is a video um, that demonstrates that. Now, regardless of how the uh, bottom right responded, it, there's a simple fact that you have five Titans, one's out of place. Um, when that attack came through and that's just simply not enough to deal with two disruptors four titans even an engineer you can fly around get those titans out of position by pulling them out to probably here and the titans will come to here and then you can slip around to the back and take out those two refineries so this is all about speed and i think um this is just a, a really interesting video uh, and build order to actually, you know, look at a, a innovative way to attack your opponents on uh, terrace. Now, this might be good. Um, some uh, someone said this might be good for woodland plains as well. Um, some people have criticised this uh, this bo without really seeing this video um, that it wouldn't work as a one ref. Again, that was just to demonstrate the build order. It was for brevity. You do this as a three or four ref. In fact, this could be a really interesting three ref. Um, and the reason is that you have that extra money and build time. So if you get double limped wherever it is, you have that extra money and you have the extra time to build Vulcans. That's why I think this is a really good 3 ref or a 4 ref. I wouldn't do this as a 2 or as a 5. As a 5, it's just a bit too slow. Um, so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, this is I've never seen something like this documented. And I was really, really keen to see how it played out because... This is something that you can employ and give you a huge advantage, um, you know, in that early game, which is just decisive. You know, as, as you can see from this video, bottom right is uh, disabled. Um, and as I said, um, you know, now I should say one last thing before I uh, finish up, and that is that the, what, some of the feedback I've had is that against a good player, they would be able to defend against this build order. Um, now I haven't, you know, I've had detailed um, conversations with that person, and they've said uh, they haven't been able to explain how a 16-second advantage is a bad thing, and no one's able to explain that. Okay, so when uh, when you're looking at bottom right, let's just go back to that again. Doesn't matter if you're a good player or a bad player. Now again, as I said, bottom right is out of position. You can see that. Um, but if top right is playing well, lands those two disruptors at the same time. It doesn't matter if you're a good player or a bad player. Five Titans and even one Engineer versus two Disruptors and one Sam. You can easily draw those Titans out um, and then slip around to the back. I don't think that's a fair fight. So um, that's, that's I think, one fair criticism is that in this example video, uh, 
bottom right uh, just didn't produce that NG uh, and probably had those Titans out of place. Certainly on that second uh, Disruptor, they were just uh, out of place. And I know I'm jumping around in the video, I'm just trying to get to the spot. Um, yeah, but I think if top left had have put those two Disruptors in at the same time, it would have overwhelmed those uh, five five Titans quite easily, even with an Engineer. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope I've, I've been able to uh, share something that is quite novel and new um, that could potentially give you uh, an advantage in the game. Um, again, the key to this one is that if you 4-ref or 3-ref, um, your ally needs to do exactly the same thing. And your uh, second carry will land at the exact moment if you haven't fucked it up or your ally hasn't fucked up their build or cache uh, as the second disruptor is coming out. The first carry will be late. The second one will be on time, and the third carry will be um, behind by a couple of seconds because, again, a disruptor is 1300, a carry all is 750, uh, and that's why the third uh, carry gets there um, a bit earlier. So, anyway, um, I know I'm a bit excited by this one, <laughs> but I just I've been thinking about it uh, for a while, and it's it's something that I feel like is unique and new, and that really changes the dynamics in the game. Um, and I'd love to see you know people play a bit more with this, and particularly as a three ref, and as a way to work with a less experienced player if you can train them on this uh, build order. But guys, that's it from me. I'll uh, catch you in the next one. See ya.